yeah, I've been down here. I've been down, I've been down, uh, down on my luck for quite some time. Yeah, I had it all. I, I really did. And You're like the Donut King. You guys seen the Donut King yet? Spoiler alert. Click off now. The Donut King documentary. That guy. Oh, man. That's a... That's a that's a story. Has it all? Christy Donuts. He's the guy behind Christie's Donuts, all over the country, everywhere. He was like a Cambodian sitting in Pendleton in the early uh, '70s, hanging out. Some church sponsors. He, he's in a gas station. Across the street is a donut shop. He notices how happy the people are to get up and have a cup of coffee and a donut. This new American cuisine. He's never even tasted it before. He doesn't even know what a donut is. Okay? No, you know, he doesn't know. Donut. What's a donut? I'm from Cambodia. I just escaped the Khmer Rouge. I sat in a refugee camp in, in, in Thailand uh, for over a year. I, 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 whatever. I smuggled out. I got to whatever. My family. I say, uh, you know, we heard that story so many times. So there he does, he goes, he builds up Christie's Donuts. He's a millionaire, lives in a castle, has helping people, helping people, helping people to get their own donut shops, trains them, to, trains them in the skill, sponsors their families to come over here. You know how every donut shop you go in there, the Cambodian family looks like they've been living in the donut shop. Maybe they do live in the donut shop. Offered him all kinds of deals, helped him out, and then one day he decided to take a day off. A small, short, little vacation. Uh-huh. Yeah. He went to Las Vegas. He got on a plane with his family and went to Las Vegas. Okay. Go ahead. Watch, watch the documentary. I'm not going to spoil it. You figure out how it's going to turn out. And I'm not trying to stereotype or anything like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm done with this.